everybody, my name is Becky and I welcome you to my muscle function video series. Today we'll be going over the extensor digiti minimi muscle. I will go over its location which includes the origin, which is also known as the starting point, the insertion, which is another name for the ending point, and then building on from that I will provide you the functions and then finally providing you an exercise so you know how to strengthen this muscle the best way. So to start off, let's go over the location of the muscle and then we'll build from there. So the location of the extensor digiti minimi muscle is located on the lateral epicondyle of your humerus and then inserts onto the base of the middle and distal phalanxes of your fifth finger. So we're looking at the posterior surface of your arm or the back side of your arm and the lateral epicondyle is actually located on the thumb side of the arm. So it starts or originates from here and then it runs down along your arm and ends up on the middle, on the base of the middle and the distal phalanxes. So you have your middle joint and your distal joint. So just at the base of that bone, just above the joint is where this muscle inserts onto. So again, this muscle runs from the thumb side of the arm on the side of your elbow, pretty much all the way up and to the base of the middle and the distal joints of your pinky finger. So now that we know where this muscle is located on my body, I'm going to go ahead and provide you an illustration of the muscle, what it actually looks like on a bone. So here is that illustration for you. Okay, so now that we know exactly where this muscle is located, now we can move on and build on to the functions of the extensor digiti minimi muscle. So this muscle has three functions. Though it has three functions, there is only one main function. And that main function of this muscle is to extend your pinky from this, these joints. So that would look like that. The other two functions of this muscle are known as weak functions because of where it originates and inserts from or onto. So the other two functions are weak wrist extension. So it does help with wrist extension and it also assists with elbow extension as well. But it, this is also a weak movement as well. So again, the main function is to extend the pinky. And then it also assists with wrist extension and elbow extension. So this is wrist extension. This is elbow extension. But both of those movements or functions are weak movements or functions. So knowing that the main so now that we know the location and the function and which function is the main function, now we can move on to the exercise that is best for this muscle. So just like the last two videos that I have done, we are going to go ahead and use manual, manual resistance since it is such a small muscle, it doesn't need much resistance at all. So what you would do would be placing your hand on top of your pinky and just manually adding some weight to your pinky and then raising your pinky up against that resistance. So now that you know the location, the function, and the best exercise for this particular muscle, I hope that you are able to apply this to your regular training program 
even if it is on a technique day. If you like the video, hit the like button, pass on with the share, share with a friend. Other than that, I'm running out of space, so I will see you guys next week. Have a great week, everybody. Make it